What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. Are you having a good day? I hope you're having a good day. If you're not having a good day, what's the matter with you? Have a good day. Or nights. Or afternoon. Whatever time zone you're in, have a good one. It's fun, I'm telling you. It's really fun when you're having a good time. But anyways, in this video I'm going to be Daniel and I'm going to be back at it again with these unique weapons and Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC. Oh yes, that was a mouthful. Huh. I still got it out. Nice job, Tongue. You did great work there. And this one I'm going to be covering the Kiloton Unique Radium Rifle. Kiloton Unique Radium Rifle. This weapon is beautiful, I'm telling you. This is basically the Spray and Pray 2.0. And if you don't know what the Spray and Pray is, what? You definitely need to know. Let's just say that much. If you don't know, well then, hey. Just for you, if you haven't actually heard of the Spray and Pray, I'm going to leave a video of, you know, what I already covered about the Spray and Pray in the description for you guys to check it out. It's an absolutely beautiful weapon as well, except this one is um, more beautiful just because it's newer, it's fresh, and it's absolutely one of the best weapons in Fallout 4. It's unique, it looks awesome, and you can, you, you can make it pretty much better than the old Spray and Pray. This is pretty much the new and improved Spray and Pray, so yeah. How cool, right? And I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this. Basically, the Spray and Pray has explosive rounds on it, and so does this Kiloton Unique Radium Rifle. Oh, I love saying that. It just flows nicely. Anywho, uh, let's get into this. To find this bad boy, first off, you're going to have to head over to the Nucleus. And you're going to have to side with the Children of Adam. Some of you guys are probably like, well, dang. That's out of the picture. I've already killed those lunatics. Then some of you are probably like, oh, nice, nice. Yep, I sided with them. And then some of you are probably like, what the heck? How do you side with them? Well, it's simple. You just head over to the Nucleus, and um, pretty much you randomly start the quest, and you have to go drink some poisonous water. And I'm not going to spoil nothing else from there. Anywho, once inside, you're going to have to look for Brother Kane. He's actually on the second story over here. This weapon, for how good it is, it isn't pricey at all. And, hey, I'll tell you guys if something pricey is, because I am one broke biscuit on this game. Like... Me saying something's not pricey is telling you something, trust me. Personally, I think this should be worth a lot more, but it isn't. So hey, you're definitely getting a deal here if you go and buy this. And not to mention, if you don't have that much ammo for the weapon, Brother Kane sells plenty of ammo for the Kiloton. Keep in mind, once you have gotten this weapon, it works very well with the Nuclear Physicist perk. And also, if you have your Demolition all the way leveled up, it can do some crazy damage. And keep in mind, you can mod this weapon to be fully automatic. It doesn't come fully automatic. But if you do um, mod this weapon to be fully automatic, this weapon will absolutely tear through people's anals. It's already strong enough when you first get it. But once you have the skills and also fully automatic mod on it, oh gosh. It just erects me nicely thinking about it. But yeah, there you guys have it, how to get the Kiloton Radium Rifle, and a quick review over it. As you guys can see, it absolutely destroys. And you don't even necessarily have to be aiming through your scopes to kill enemies. You can just shoot at the ground around them and still be able to kill them just because of the blast radius it has. It's freaking awesome. Anywho, everybody, have fun upgrading it and maxing it out. I'm out of here, though. This has been a video about your rifle, and hopefully you found this enjoyable. If you haven't, be sure to follow my Twitter in the description, and also, it's much appreciated if you decide to leave a like on this video. It definitely helps out. I know I'm being a like whore here. It's okay if you just instead just say, you need to shut your whore mouth up, rifle. You're always telling me to like your videos at the end of your videos. What is the matter with you? Come on, dude. For real? Maybe I would give you a like if you would stop reminding me, man. Seriously. What are you, stupid? You're not playing it smart. You're supposed to act like you don't care about the likes. That's the trick, rifle, I'm telling you. Just don't care about the likes, and then you'll see the likes come rolling in. Alright, I can see where you're coming from from there. And I can totally understand if you're thinking that way. And, hey, it's understandable if you don't leave a like. At least you came here and viewed my content. That's just as appreciated. But, this has been a video by your rifle, and I'm going to leave another reminder for you guys to check my Twitter. Oh, you thought I was going to say leave a like on the video, didn't you? Nope. Check out my Twitter, guys. It's in the description. I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out. Thank you.